Hey guys, so welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we are trying to solve the 482nd lead code problem that is license key formatting. Okay, so you are given a license key represented as a string S, which consists only of alphanumeric characters and dashes. The string is separated into n plus 1 groups by n dashes. Given a number k, we would want to reformat the strings in such that, I mean, such that each group contains exactly k characters, except for the first group, which could be shorter than k, but still must contain at least one character. Furthermore, there must be a dash inserted between two groups, and all lowercase letters should be converted to uppercase. Given a non empty string s and a number k, format the string according to the rules described above. Okay, so basically, like, uh, like they'll give you a license plate number or whatever, and they'll give you a value of k that is 4 in this case. So you're supposed to like separate this whole number into basically into two parts in which each part has four characters. Okay, so like in this case, the output should be something like this, right? So on the left side of the hyphen, you have four characters. And on the right side also you have four characters now like there can be an exception like in this case say perhaps where the first character like has only one character in it okay but the rest should follow the same rule all right okay so now to make this like a little less complicated like we will be like um, like doing a program like from the back side front okay so I'll say what I mean by that like the main reason why we are not doing from the front part is like like sometimes like just one character comes like or like two character comes like there can be exceptions right but like when we like do from the back part like there are no such exceptions so like let's like see what i mean by that so now this is our number and a value of k is four okay so now the first thing we'll do is we'll be removing all the existing hyphens from this license plate number okay so now our string it will be something like whoops okay it will be 5 f 3 z and 2 e and 9 w okay and we also have to convert all the lowercase characters to uppercase all right okay so now we'll be having a variable called count which will be equal to zero okay all right so now why do we have the variable count in the first place okay like we'll talk about that we'll also be having an empty answers array okay to which like we'll be appending our answers now this might be a bit big so let me like just uh, mention that down here all right okay so now what now we'll be like having a for loop going through this entire string from the back to the front direction okay so like we'll be beginning from the back so now we'll come across w okay now when we come across w we'll have to append the particular character to the answers array in the uppercase form right because like they told every character should be uppercase so now what i'll do is i'll just be uh, appending the uppercase version of w to my array okay now now the value of count will get incremented to 1 right now the value of count will get incremented to 1 now why is that so now every character we go through i'll keep on incrementing the counts value and when count will reach the value of k i'll be putting a hyphen okay because like the number of characters will be reached okay so now then i'll come across 9 i'll just append 9 to the array okay then the value of count will be 2 now okay whoops let me just take my eraser all right so now the value of count will be 2 now okay after append 9 now i'll be appending the uppercase version of e and now again the value of count will go to 3 right 2 plus 1 is 3 now i'll be appending 2 again right now i'll be appending 2 so now after I append 2, the value of count becomes 4. Now if you guys can see the value of count is the exact same thing as a case value, right? Which means that we came across one part that has 4 characters in this case. So now you are supposed to insert a hyphen, okay? So now 
you will be inserting a hyphen and by the way like all this like should be in strings all right like all right so now i'll be inserting a hyphen right because this is my first part okay then i will like continue the for loop i'll so now i'll be resetting the value of count to zero okay i have to again begin value of count will be zero now so now i'll be appending z the value of count will be one i'll be appending three value of count is two i'll be appending f value of count is three and i'll be appending five the value of count will be four right so now the value of count will be equal to four so now if you guys like know what happens here now since the value of count is four i'll again be appending a minus two i mean a hyphen at the end right but we like don't want a hyphen like at the beginning or the end of our answer string right we like only want them like to be separated into four i mean into two equal parts like in this case okay so now um this is my one part of like four characters and this is my second part of four characters so this hyphen like is not at all required here so now what can we do like to stop this so now when we like um, insert the hyphen we are always supposed to check that if the value of i is zero or not so now if the value of i is zero only will the hyphen be put at the end okay so now the hyphen is supposed to be put only if the value of i well, like basically a for loop it is not at the zeroth index okay and now what if we do is we have to like just reverse this um, array and join it i mean list and join it so now once you like reverse it and join it first of all this hyphen won't be there because we having our condition so once you reverse and join it you will be having 5f3z hyphen 2e9w okay so now that's the basic idea about how to solve this now let's try, like try to code the whole solution out so now i'll be having a variable count which will be equal to zero now i want to replace all the hyphens like just with empty spaces okay so replace hyphen with empty space so now whoops let me just fix this real quick okay so now we'll be having our answers array for i in range length of um s minus one comma minus one comma minus one right because we are starting from the last index onwards okay now answer dot append s of i dot upper because we want the upper case of the particular character or whatever all right so now if oh, we also have to increment count so count will be plus equal to one if count is equal to k and we have one more condition to keep and i is not equal to zero because if it is equal to zero like that hyphen will come at the end we don't want that and it's not equal to zero answer dot append a hyphen right and that should be it let me just fix this and we have to just reset the value of count to zero for the following operations and now we can just return the joined form of the reverse of the answers list and that should work let's see if this works let's run the code there you go it works let's submit and there you go that's how you solve this problem hopefully you guys got the idea if you have any doubts do leave them in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe and that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one bye